Hey, Jay, how's well, it going? Hey, how's it going, David? How are you? I'm not too bad. Can't That's explain. Good. good. All right, so the live stream can hear you. Everyone's everyone's flipping out in the chat. <laughs> oh, that's, that's nice. Everyone's excited to hear from you. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I can talk to everybody. Yeah, no problem. Um, do we want to? Let's go ahead and get started with some questions, um, if that's okay with you. Um, Dorian, do you want to go first? Uh, let me see. And, and we're, we're, we're going from the from the question list first, right? Yes. Okay, so let's see. So with the first one, um, uh, David, how did you get into voice acting? Uh, crazy. Ryan Drummond, who you guys all probably know, <laughs> uh, we, were doing a, we were doing a show together, and uh, he was he had been doing Sonic, and I guess he was doing a lot of the a lot of the different voices for for Sonic. And a couple of the other characters, and they, you know, uh, they said they were looking for some different people to do some other voices, and so he gave my name and Scott Dryers and a couple other people to come in and audition for it, and and that's kind of how I got my, that's how I got my in on all this. I had no idea it was gonna turn out to be what it is today for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. What was what was the show that you and Ryan were doing? Uh, we were doing Forever Plaid. It's a it's about a yeah. It's about a guys group, fifties, uh, sixties music, and uh, they were uh, a group just out of high school. They wanted to be famous, and um, and they were they were actually on their way to their first big gig, um, which is funny because it was at the airport Hilton cocktail bar. Oh, <laughs> <called okay. it. laughs> yeah, and the funny thing was they were on their way there, and they, um, they got in their car, and they got hit by a yeah by a busload of. Uh, Catholic schoolgirls who were on their way to make the to see the Beatles make their U.S. television debut on the Ed Sullivan Show, hmm. and so they they died. And that's the funny thing is that's all in the kind of prologue in the beginning of it. And then what happens is, you know, the higher power brings us back to um, have us do the show that we never got to do in life. And so it's it's a really fun show. I know it's what well, I'm talking about death right in the beginning, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, lots, of, lots of great music, great tight harmonies from the guys, and um, yeah, Ryan and I did that for years together, actually. So, mm. and I think we, on occasion, still continue to do it, whether we're directing it or producing it or acting in it. So it's been a, it's definitely been a love, just like um, the Sonic games as well. So yeah, mm. it's cool. Yeah, I actually really, really like that play. Um, I didn't hear about it until Scott uh, mentioned it, and so I looked it up, and I'm obsessed with it. Um, yeah, very nice. It's kind of yeah, it's it's just kind of happens that way. It's really cool. Yeah. Um. So, what are your thoughts on live theater? So we know you do live theater to an extent. So, is that sort of where you got your start? Yeah, you know, I, I was in, uh, I went to school uh, in college to be a, a broadcast journalist, and um, and I'd always been singing and stuff, so, you know, I had that, that background, and I'd performed a little bit on stage, but nothing, nothing crazy, I didn't do any live theater, really, um, it was more competition style singing stuff, and uh but I went to college and I was auditioning for a jazz ensemble and uh, the theater professor came in and saw my audition and he asked me if I wanted to be in their musical. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm not doing anything. And it was my first, my freshman year in college and um, it was Into the Woods and I got oh, to play, okay. I got to play Jack. Um, and uh, from that moment it was history. When I, that show was over, I changed my major and. I never looked back, so I got my musical theater degree, and yeah, I've been doing musical theater and just theater itself mm -hmm. since since then. And that's sure. kind of been my, you know, it's my one of my joys and loves, and um, so I I do shows all the time. Like I go back to back. I'm in the middle of a show right now, and um, yeah, that's oh oh cool. So so you still do plays and, and things now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's my that's my main. It's one of my main things. Yeah, I'm doing a show called Mixtape right now. It's an 80s review musical. Uh, we did it in San Diego 
probably 10 years ago and it ran for three years um mm -hmm. and uh they just brought it back so we're we're doing it again so i'm cool. doing that summer yeah it's pretty cool nice oh now like you don't mind me asking where where is this show um where, where is it uh is it located in case uh, any of us so happen to be around or Oh yeah, if you guys are around, around love to have you guys come. Yeah, absolutely. You guys, uh, we're in Coronado. It's in San Diego. It's on Coronado Island at Lamb's Players Theater. Okay. Oh, okay. That's actually nice. not terribly far from me. Okay. Yeah, and we'll be there until. Well, I'm in the show until September 1st. I think they're going to extend it longer than that, but I've got another commitment. I'm going to go do another show um, after that. So. Oh, right cool. on. Yeah. So, do you have like a favorite live show that you've done, or a favorite musical? I think Plaid is probably my favorite. Okay. Plaid and mixtape that I'm doing right now. They're just so much fun. I love the tight harmonies in Plaid, and I love the relationships that you create with the the other three guys. And uh, mixtape I love because I, you know, I grew up in the '80s, and so um, I really love. I love mixing and I love all the music from the time. You know, it was really interesting. Like when I was a kid and you would be in stores and in the elevator would play, um, it would play like 50s and 60s music. Well, now if you if you really listen, a lot of the stores you go into, you'll they have that background music. It's usually 80s music. So it's it's kind of how it's changed over the years. And but I love 80s music so much. So it's it's a lot of fun. I get to play a lot of different characters and we have like. I think I have probably at least 25 costume changes. It goes oh, wow. It's oh, wow. really fast. But yeah, doing this stuff like Miami Vice and you know the cops from Chips and um, you know we do Love Shack and uh, you know just a lot of different. We do we play the characters from The Breakfast Club. Ah. And, yeah, but it's a lot of fun. It's a it's a great show. If anybody you know on the stream comes and sees it, they're gonna have a great time. Nice. Sweet. Yeah, that's really sick. Very cool. You heard it straight from the man himself, guys. Come on down and see the show. <laughs> All right, come see the show. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday through Sunday, so you have a lot of opportunities. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. All okay. right. Do you want to get the next one? Yes, I do. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's see. No, uh just making sure like I do all the right ones right uh let's see um <laughs> let's see, do you... <laughs> yeah just gotta make sure everything is on point but let, let's check it out we got uh <laughs> oh uh what advice would you give to those who inspire to be uh actors like voice actors or doing live theater really anything that's a good question um I think everybody's different but um I think the best thing is probably one have fun and uh Two, I think, is just always always work on your craft. You know, um, you don't you don't need a degree for any of these things, um, but just getting yourself out there, being seen. You know, because a lot of times it's being in the right place at the right time, um, and the people you know. Obviously, <laughs> that's how I got into. All the, I mean, really. I mean, if I didn't if I didn't meet Ryan in that show, this never would have happened. And so I'm still I'm still very grateful to him and. Um, but yeah, it's just really getting out there, being being seen, working on your craft, you know, taking classes, whether it's voiceover work or whether it's, you know, taking dance classes or, you know, whatever it is, whatever you really want to focus on. But, and you have to also be, um, be open to a lot of different things. You know, obviously I got my musical theater degree and that's what I wanted to focus on was musical theater. But yeah, you know, I, I wanted to do some film and I wanted to do some TV and I, You've got to, you know, be able to pay the bills, and so you got to go out there and put yourself out in every different genre and every different piece of entertainment that you can, whether it's whether it is voiceovers or commercial work or theater or you know, this is crazy. Some of the stuff that I've done for, you know, performing wise and for you know a paycheck, <laughs> it's pretty. <laughs> like out of curiosity, like what kind of crazy things? Well, just for one example, it's it's it was just really funny at the time. They um, I I auditioned for this commercial. My agent sent me to this commercial, and it was a Reebok commercial. Oh. And their whole thing was uh, the whole kind of slogan for it was 
defy convention. And so they had all of these, they were all a bunch of different commercials where it just kind of was just out of the norm at the time. And this was a while ago. I did this a long time ago, but um, I did this, we did this commercial and I was, I got cast. I was really surprised I got cast and the audition was crazy too, but um, it was a, we were military, we were military guys, but we, we were all also, we had to play homosexual. So um, I had to be in love with this guy and it was just, it was just, just this crazy thing and something that they really wanted to um, make people think, you know, that, mm-hmm. you know, gays can be in the military and, and, you know, it's really okay. And, and it was really cool. The, the crappy part is that it, it never aired. Oh um, no. Really? They put a lot of different things out there, but they never, they never did air my, my piece of it. You know, it was cool. I always, I got paid for it. They held onto it for two years. So I got a residual check, you know, mm-hmm. um, every couple months or whatever but yeah they never actually aired it so uh but yeah that was, you know that was crazy for me because um i'm not homosexual but obviously i'm gonna play one on tv so that's what i'm gonna do and you know but it was it was just interesting and that was kind of right in the beginning of my my tv film type career stuff that i was going out for so i was that was crazy and crazy too but that was another thing that was kind of um you know, being out there and and uh, being in the right place at the right time. You know, one of the guys that did the commercial with me, I actually met him. We were singing backup for Barbara Streisand at the Staples Center, and that's how okay. I heard about the how I heard about the audition and and shot it out to my agent so he could get me out there. So it's yeah, it's crazy business. Yeah. I'm sorry you didn't yeah. air. I mean, I'm glad you got paid for it though, at least. No, I'm sorry, Daenerys, too, because I already got paid a lot more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I got you. So, I know we kind of talked about, like, your favorite um, show or musical, but do you have, like, a favorite role, or would they be from those shows? Um, I think one of my favorite, like, roles specifically was from Les Mis when I played Javert. I think that was probably that was killer because I'd I'd always wanted to sing that role and I was finally finally old enough to play the role and um, they happen to be doing it at the same theater that I'm doing mixtape in now and um, that was a that was a great opportunity and very cool so yeah that's probably one of my favorite favorite roles to play that's really after cool. Russell Russell Crowe you know botch it. <laughs> the, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you're so horrible. Why would you why would anybody put him in there to sing? It's just the worst thing ever. Uh, yeah. Hugh Jack. So I guess he made up for it, I don't know. <laughs> That's awesome though. Um do you have any new goals, I guess, that you kind of have set for yourself regarding like your future? Well, you know what? I that's really interesting you say that cuz I really want to do I really want to get back into the the uh, voiceover stuff because I haven't I haven't really done it in a long time now. Just you know, no one's you know called me or you know sent me an email. Hey, say we want to use you, <laughs> and I have I haven't pushed it a lot either. Just um, I've just been really busy with the other shows. Plus, I also I run a private swim school. Oh, really. Uh, and I, we have five locations in San Diego County, and so I, I started that like 11 years ago because I didn't want to leave town to do theater anymore because I had my two kids, my two boys, and so I just wanted to do something part time and started teaching for them just as a swim instructor because I did that in high school and college, and um, and uh, then it just led one thing led to another. And now I'm running the whole business, so uh, and I That's have. So cool. I can't, yeah, I can kind of create my schedule a little bit now, now that I'm running the whole thing. But um, yeah, I just haven't had a lot of time. But I've been Are looking they... at buying some new equipment and you know, and talking to Lonnie and 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 uh, Ryan and just saying, what do I, you know, how do I get back into this? And because um, I know it's changed a little bit how people audition for stuff. And uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Wait, so, so, cause, yeah, because you haven't, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, 
I know we we got into this a little bit on the stream before you arrived, but the the last um, the time you were last time you were Shadow, that was uh, Sonic Battle, I believe, in two thousand four. Is that right? Yeah, that was the last time. Yeah, it's been it's been a long time. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think it was the same thing for Ryan as well. Like, yeah, like uh, all of you guys with the with the with that specific cast. I think that was the that was the last one. Yeah. That was the last one of that cast. Yeah, because they mm-hmm. they completely recast everybody at that after that at that time yeah right 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 because um so i believe sonic x sonic x just started airing uh sonic x started airing i think like a year before that in the united states in 2003 uh-huh. um, i think it was mm-hmm. in september i believe it was yeah um have you considered making like a social media page like for like t- like maybe like a twitter or something <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know that's a weird question, but um, No, it's, it's not a weird question. It's funny because I've had I've had multiple people, my um my ex wife, my girlfriend, my my <laughs> my family, my parents, my sons. They're all like, Dad, you need to create a I'm like, Yes, I do, you're right. I just need to you know, find the time to do it. So I just I think it would be a really good idea. Um it would help maybe I guess maybe meet new connections and stuff like that. So a lot of people now kind of have to have a social media page. Oh, they absolutely. In in this day and age, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things too, where if you were to just create a Twitter, let's just say you created a Twitter today, I can guarantee you probably by sunset you would have over a thousand followers. (laughs) By sunset. (laughs) If that. (laughs) Oh man. I definitely should. I definitely should. <laughs> yeah, I just think yeah. it would be really beneficial um, if that you know if you want to get back into like voiceover. Um, I don't know. I feel like that would be helpful. Everyone in the chat is saying I'd follow. I'd follow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, then I will. Then if they yeah, if we got oh. people that want to follow, then let's do this. Oh, oh my gosh. There it is. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I said it. It's out there now. Now I have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man! Got my Twitter, like, okay, what's the at? Um, <laughs> I can just see his phone just going, just start vibrating and going crazy. It's like, why is my phone kind of coming alive? Going to, like, yeah. Explode! <laughs> Never ring. Oh man! I have a weird question, but it's about the swimming thing. So, like, when you teach people to swim, are they primarily like little, or are they like teenagers, like? Who are you teaching? Oh, they're all ages. I we we teach from we teach little babies three months old, mm-hmm. um, and that's you know those are basically you know they're in the water with the parent. It's more of a bonding experience for them, but it's just to get them acclimated to the water. And then when they hit about six months, we start you know teaching them safety skills, rolling over on their back, if, like if they fell in, um, holding onto the wall, you know, oh. crab walking along the wall. But yeah, we do that three months all the way to adult. I mean, we have. We have, most of our clients are kids, obviously, but we have some clients that have their kids in, and then all of a sudden they come up to me and they're like, hey, my kids are better swimmers than I am now. Can, can you guys <laughs> So, we, you know, we get the parents in, and they're completely terrified, but it's such an important, I mean, it's just a life-saving skill. I mean, everybody should know how to swim, especially people that live in, you know, California, but just anywhere. I mean, there's so many bodies of water. I mean, even... I mean, people drown in bathtubs. It's crazy. And yeah, you're not going to swim in there, but you have to just be be aware. And, and yeah, it's actually really life. important. I I don't know how to swim, um, but I was from I'm from Ohio, so that doesn't matter. Learn. And that's on the air now too. So you have to learn now. So I'm going to create a quit. <laughs> yeah. Well, learn. now that I I live in California, I'm in the LA area now. Um, so now that I have all this water around me, I need to learn. Absolutely. And it's fun, too. It's re- it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when, the, when a friend of mine taught me how to swim, like, after a while, I was like, I'm dying. It's like, you're not. Just, it's okay. And just, it was, it was fine after a while. So. It feels like it, but you're not. Yeah, yeah, it does. Just like oh, I'm just like when he's like, no, it's fine. Like I remember my, my my dad. My dad tells me a story of like how he put me into the water, and I'm just like, I'm dying, I'm dying. He's like, just just stand. And I was like, oh, okay. Just stand <laughs> so up, yeah. You're standing in three feet. Yeah. 
Oh my god. That's oh, funny that you to add though, because the, you know, there's so many people that like I just hear all these stories of people my age, maybe a little bit younger, but they've all were just thrown in by their dad and they're like, learn how to swim and they just chuck them in the <laughs> Like, oh man! All right, you gotta figure it out, and you do. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, we're a little more we're a little more specific at the swim school, so. Well, yeah. well, that's good. That'll get that. That's good. You just don't throw them in. Just be like, okay, survive. And you just. Right, figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is there's there's actually this crazy program, and I don't I don't promote it, but I mean everybody has a different way. But yeah, this there's this program that they, they I'm not going to share it, but they. They just throw the babies in and they just teach them how to roll over. It's not a learn how to swim. It's just more of a survival thing. But, mm-hmm. I mean, little, little babies, like five, six months, and they just oh, pretty much chuck in the pool. And they're, what they're trying to teach them to do is roll over. And But it, a lot of times the kids are pretty traumatized from it. But not all of them. Some kids, it really helps them a lot. But then people come to us and actually learn how to swim, you know, learn the strokes and learn the basics so yeah that's mm-hmm. very interesting so oh, wow. if, if it's okay um can we ask some questions more i guess centered around sonic stuff what why would you do that that'd be crazy. i know it's it's like really <laughs> peculiar but it's unbelievable are, i know i'm so sorry that's such yeah I'm personally so i like personally I, I i'm appalled so i just yes. you know what I, I just it's it's <laughs> You make me sick. You and I, we're a, we can't. Um, so, kind of a generic one, but what was it like recording, you know, for Shadow? Well, it was it was cool because a lot of different things. Um, it was really cool because you know I could create. I could create my own voice, so we did a lot of you know we little did a lot of different things. I can't remember what I did exactly, but just throwing a lot out to the the old execs and producers and stuff to see what they liked and but I didn't have to sound like anybody like it was just like all the people that come after me they you know they kind of have to sound like that Mm -hmm. Uh, but I didn't have to do that which was really cool I could just be myself you know Um, so that was awesome I loved that Um, I it was really some of it was really difficult though because it you're in the studio a lot and it's Mm -hmm. You know, just pacing yourself and not not overdoing it because you want to use a lot of energy in the studio and you want to um, you put it all out there because when I perform, I you know I give 110 percent, but when you're in the studio for all day, <laughs> eight hours, yeah. you know, it's it's pretty insane. It's pretty insane, and it, I <laughs> I still remember. I still I broke quite a few pencils like snapped them in half please oh, oh, can i can i please like okay can i tell a story if that's okay i heard a story and i really want to tell it it's, it's about totally you true. I'm pretty sure it's true so go ahead you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. um scott actually told me about this story we went out <laughs> for cupcakes and it was the most amazing thing ever um it was just, you know, it was kind of a tough day, and you were doing your lines, and they were just like, no, you got to do it again. No, you got to do that one again. And when you took a break, I think he went in, and then they kept saying that all of his lines were, like, perfect or something like that. And oh, then yeah. you, like, threw a, <laughs> you, like, threw a pencil, and it, like, bounced off the walls and onto you or something. <laughs> and, like, it was something like that, and then he went, like, oh, perfect or something like that, and it, it killed me. <laughs> yeah, he was totally like, David, you need to calm down. I'm like, <laughs> it was, it was just, it was so funny because I, yeah, I think I threw it at the, at the window where they, where everybody was sitting outside. And of course, bounce oh back. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh man. So angry. It was like they wanted, you know, it was more of the, more of the sounds like when they're jumping or when they're jumping, like, you know, and mm-hmm. and. And they would they would do those sounds, and I swear to God, I'm like, I'm doing exactly. It sounds exactly what you just said to me, and so I would, you know, I would record it back, and like, no, that's not it. Do it again. I'm like, hey, no, do it again. Hey, that's just. Uh. <laughs> You're like, I did it. I already did it. 
please. Minute. No, do it again. Oh, man. <laughs> well, my, yeah, and my, my girlfriend was really funny because I told her that story, too, a while back, and I guess she found something she found something online about I guess this Japanese guy it was a YouTube channel or something and he was saying you know the Japanese shadow um, in the shadow's death or something was so much better than mine like there was no what? passion for my, my, my character and all of this stuff and oh and he would God. play the recording of me doing it and playing the recording of the Japanese guy doing it and she's like it sounded exactly the same <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard it, and, I, and you know, people have certain ears, so maybe they were hearing something that you know she wasn't. But she's like, "Yeah, I totally get it. It sounded exactly, exactly the same." But apparently, his was better than yours. I'm like, okay, well, everybody has well, their like, opinion. It's so it weird. Feel any better? Whenever I watch that scene, I cry. Like, and I still do as a grown adult. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate it. I'm so embarrassed of it. If I'm like showing a game to a friend, and I do that a lot, I'll be like, "Oh, come play this game. It's great." And we'll be watching the ending, and I'll sit there crying in front of my new friend, who I'm like, "This is a great <laughs> game, and it'll make you so happy." And I'm like, <laughs> Shut up. Why don't they come up and hang out with me anymore? Well, <laughs> <we're crying. laughs> yeah, like, like you know, it makes you feel better. Like with with that recording thing. Now, for us, when we were kids, we all, I mean, we never really used to switch to the Japanese ones all the time. We just, out of curiosity, probably was the only time, but whatever. But anytime we would ever um, have, to, we would have to jump or have to do something that, like, would just, just, we would have to have some kind of, like, some kind of vocal, just like, eh, to try to get over it. We would always, like, kind of mimic that one, the shadow one specifically, because that just yeah. was ingrained in us when we played the game all the time. So, <laughs> <That's> yeah. <hilarious. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what? I'm curious. Speaking of like talking about uh, things with uh, with Shadow, I remember when um, I think what made yours different uh, than the other uh, Shadow voices that we've seen over the years is that uh, at the time Shadow was kind of portrayed as like another Sonic in a sense, rather than just kind of being a darker one. So I was curious if the voice you all found um, for for his, for, I'm sorry, for your take on the character, uh, were you referencing Sonic at all or referencing Ryan at all when you figured that out, like an opposite of his or something? Yeah, I think we talked about it. We wanted it to be, you know, ob completely opposite of what, what his was. And, and I, and yeah, I don't know that we ever talked about, you know, Shadow being sinister or anything crazy like that. I think it was. It was just about being com the complete opposite sound and you know the look they looked you know similar they just had that different color and because it was because shadow was black it was like well let's you know let's give it more of that you know i guess lower voice or lower type character because mm -hmm. you know sonic is so crazy i don't even know how he does that voice it's just insane <laughs> <laughs> he, still, he can still do it by the way he does it all the time now Oh, I know. He, and he, well, he actually, he warned me. He's like, oh, they might ask you to do the voice. I'm like, holy crap, I haven't done it in so long. So I was <laughs> oh, no. listening to some stuff this morning. I'm like, oh, shit, I actually I told the chat. I said, okay, guys, just keep in mind, not everyone's going to agree to do the voice. Like, you, you just, it's up to you if you are wanting to or not. Well, I, yeah, I don't know even what I would what I would say. I'm sure you guys would have some lines that I could say. Whatever. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm yeah, sure the chat asked. can come up with many things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, like that's that's really interesting because I always got that vibe, and I think that that's that's I really like your 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 take on it. Like like the the scene specifically, there's a there's a part um, where Sonic uh, interacts with Shadow, I think, for the second time, and they kind of have like a couple of words exchanging against each other, and it's not really like a you know, like I'm shadow and death and destruction and da 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 da. Like he's like really like kind of being cocky in the same way that Sonic would be. It's like they're two opposites, of, but they're the same. And I thought that really, you know, came out well through your your uh, your voice acting with the character. Yeah, and that's you know that's probably why I changed with the you know with the the guys that have played you know Shadow after. It's like I think the character Shadow has changed a bit since the yeah. beginning. Oh yeah. Obviously. Yeah, we've we've absolutely. gone on about it quite a bit ourselves. Um, that you know, we felt that like in SA two and Heroes that Shadow was just another guy, but like, 
now he's just like this super evil brooding dude and we don't really like it that much i mean it's okay but eh. yeah no, what do you guys think? he's just a guy what do you guys think of all the movie stuff and all that's going on with that uh, oh the sonic film yeah um no comment. i'm definitely glad that they're <laughs> I, I'm definitely glad that they are that they're changing the the design of it. Um, I, I guess I would just say that I haven't seen uh, what it's going to look like at all. Uh, but I'm just hoping that it comes back and it comes back together and looks it looks looks all right. Um, uh, I think the only thing I've done with it uh, it's actually on my Twitter account for anyone that wants to look at it. I made a PDF uh, to the director. Um, when, when I, when I heard that they were changing the, the design of the character, I basically like did a whole run through of, um, where Sonic, uh, originated from in terms of his design, uh, how like adapting, uh, fictional characters into live action has gone wrong and sort of how to apply those two teachings into how you can, you can carry Sonic going into the film whilst like kind of making sure that he works in live action, but still kind of keeping it true to what he looks like um in the video games and just kind of like other media but uh yeah yeah it's um yeah i'm I'm glad that they're changing the uh the uh, design the 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 first one that kind of came out was was a little rough because of just certain things that they wanted to try to make it more i think grounded in realism but it just kind of wasn't uh wasn't really working that well so i'm excited to see what they do to change it but uh we won't find out i think uh, i was thinking we're going to see something around comic-con around this time but uh, probably uh, near the end of the so. year, maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe so near the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's just been the whole the whole live action piece. Um, I don't want to get off topic, but yeah, you know, just with all the Disney films and the the Lion King and Aladdin and all of that stuff, and just you know, what do you think about people it? are really excited about it, but some people want to just keep it the way keep it the way that it was. You know. Did you? Uh, yeah. What do you feel about it? Yeah. I don't know that I have. I don't. I haven't watched it. Like I haven't seen Aladdin yet. I haven't seen Lion King. You know, I saw. Um, I saw Jungle Book, and you know, I just thought it was different. I I liked it, but it was just. It's just different, and so. I I have a. I try to keep a pretty open mind with things because they you know they're gonna remake things and change things and just kind of have that have an open mind. But you know, there's gonna be some things that will bother me, and but. I don't know. Just try to just try to know that it's it's not a it's not a huge deal. It's just it's just something that has to happen. <laughs> and with the way technology yeah. is now, you're, they're gonna they're gonna go do that. And yeah. Try to make it yeah. better, or, and they mm-hmm. may change it. But you can always go back and look at the old stuff. And, mm-hmm. Right, right. I totally agree. The 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 the, yeah, the way I generally see that kind of stuff, it's like you know, while you can take half new takes and brand new ways of doing stuff that's that's yeah. fine but it just can't it can't lose the original uh dna spirit that made the original what it was you know yeah. if you're going to change it that that's totally cool but it's got to stay true in spirit to what kind of came before it you that's, know if you stick to that you'll be okay yeah that's why, that's a great point yeah that, nice. that's why i was just gonna uh say that's why i'm really thankful for disney plus because then now all of these original old disney films will now forever be timeless as long as Disney Plus is operating. Yep, I would agree. Yeah, I totally agree with that. So let's actually go ahead and uh, let some of the fans in here ask some questions oh, because we don't have chat t- questions. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. Um, we don't have too much time, so I want to go ahead and let them have a chance. Uh, fire up your best ones, and I'm, I'm I have a good feeling that about. 50% of them are going to be. Can you please say this in the shadow voice? <laughs> <laughs> we already we already have one right we already have one right out of the out of the bullpen here. Uh no, Meep, oh boy. Meep Meep is asking question. Mr. Humphrey, what's what what I guess what's your favorite line as Shadow? <laughs> Mr. Humphrey. Mr. Um, Humphrey. That's Mr. Humphrey. That's very official. Don't ever call me that again. <laughs> 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 Mr. Mr. Humphrey is his father. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Um, that's, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I seriously, and this is awful. I barely can remember some of the line. No, it's okay. That's understandable. Um, oh, I don't know that. Oh, my favorite. Sure line. What's, so, what's what's his favorite line? What, yeah. What's, or, um, 
What's their favorite line? Yeah, meet meet. meet. What's, what's your favorite? Meet yeah. meet. What's your favorite line? Someone right. is asking, are you recording this by a playground? <laughs> oh, no, David's at a soccer game right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside at think... a, a very hard cement picnic table with no, no shade and oh, watching no. a little, oh, watching a little no. soccer. Under the hot I have to work on my sun. cat. It's all right. <laughs> but there's, there's a nice breeze. It's not too bad. That's good. Let's yeah. see. Let's see. All right. Someone said, besides the pencil story, what's your favorite memory um, while voicing Shadow? <sighs> my favorite memory. I think another way to get to calm down, I had to go out and have a shot of whiskey. Oh to no! Just, to just relax, I think. And I, but I do that now for everything I've done recording-wise. Like before I go in and start recording, I'll just take a shot of shot of bourbon or a shot of something to just calm my nerves. Because I, you know, I still get nervous. I still get stressed out. Yeah. Um, so I want to do my best work, and but. I get in my own way, <laughs> so just have, and that was that was one thing. Um, uh, yeah, I was one. Bill and Lonnie, they're like, you just need to go out. And he's like, you know, in my cabinet, I have a little, I have a little something in there, and I pulled out, and I I don't remember what it was, but just one little shot, just help warm the insides and and calm me down, and that was great. So I think that's probably. My favorite memory, knowing that I can just do something a little like that. It's not going to affect my voice, and it's not going to affect my performance, but it's just going to, you know, calm my nerves a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> everybody has yeah. everybody has their thing, whether it's stretching or, um, you know, doing some meditation or some yoga, and I just take a shot of whiskey, and I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right Someone on. said I oh. thought your favorite memory would be being paid. <laughs> Did what? Uh, someone in the chat said, I thought your favorite memory would be being paid. <laughs> no, it was, that's not my favorite memory. <laughs> uh, because, it was, because it was contracted, and so we just got one check, and then that was it. Right. Oh. Like, uh, I didn't get paid every time they played the game. I didn't, you know, and mm. yeah. So, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, I was... Uh, Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, actually, speaking of which, like, with that, uh, uh, Meet Meep actually uh, uh, came back with their with their favorite line. Uh, they're um, wondering if you can you can say your adventuring days are coming to an end. Now, if I can help, the way that you said that in the game was uh, was like uh, your adventuring days are coming to an end. Yeah. At the end, if I got your that adventuring right. days are coming to an end. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nice. You still got it. Did you hear it? Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, it was good. It was great. I'm Very just, cool. I'm, I'm waiting for the live stream chat to, like, flip. Yep. Oh, snap. <laughs> yep, there's there's no snap. There they go. There they go. There they go. Oh, my God. The chat's, like, losing it. Aww. Oh, there, man. So there. another question that they're wondering is, you know, if you ever had the chance to voice Shadow again, would you? I know that's obviously not up to you, but um, if if that were up yeah, to you, yeah, not up to me. Yeah, it should be up to me. Absolutely, I need to come <laughs> in and show them how it's done. Absolutely. <laughs> so Very if you guys cool. know anything, no, let me know. <laughs> I can, I'll come do it. For sure. Uh, one sweet one question from uh, from Cooper is asking David, what advice would you give to newer, still learning singers? You know, because you know, theater work, there's songs to be had, so. Yeah, you need to find a, um, well, a couple of things. You can find, you need to find a good voice uh, teacher, someone who really knows a lot about, about the voice, the, you know, just the connection between, you know, your vocal cords to what's coming out and how everything works just mechanically. And then kind of what you want to sing and, and find somebody that does that specific, where it's musical theater, whether it's rock or, um, it's best to find somebody that can do a little bit of everything so they can really give you give you the insights and all that and the placement of everything and that's what you really want for sure yeah and just keep doing it sing a lot the more you sing the more you figure out your voice and the more you know what it can do and what it can't do and it's always going to be changing like it's mine's changed so much in the last 20 years of what i could and couldn't do and so yeah and even when it something's wrong with it you can still 
you can still make it work and work for you well. I have a, I have a, it's not a full paralysis, but I have a partial paralysis of my left vocal cord. Oh my god! Oh no! What do you um, do? Well, like people would think you'd need to rest your voice, like if you had nodes or polyps or something, but it's not that. You have to somehow the nerve was affected. Why? Either I had a cold or. Stress can cause it sometimes. It doesn't happen very often. It's like being struck by lightning, but um, it happened to me about four years ago, and I think it was because of stress. And I had to drop out of a show. I was doing Joseph and Amazing Tech or Dream Coat, and I had to drop out because um, I couldn't sing. Like I lost my entire range. And then, but I kept singing over the summer, and then I got into another show, and they lowered some of the keys for me, and I kept singing, I kept singing, and then I got it. I got it back up to where it needed to be. I thought I was better, but I went to my my doctor and they they're like no it's exactly the same you've just been able to learn to adjust your voice and sing around it and and work with it so it's that's pretty good. Crazy. oh my gosh that's insane so crazy cuz i thought i'm when it first happened i'm like okay that career's over with <laughs> so yeah um, i can't yeah. imagine i actually <laughs> i i suffer from a lot of allergies and it kind of gets in the way of my singing like a lot um yeah. and i i'm over here like oh it's over i can't sing ever again you know like <laughs> But, like, that's, I can't believe that that happened. Like, that's Yeah, but insane. with certain things, you can you can work through all of that, whether it's yeah. allergies, the paralysis, or whether it's even, oh, yeah, yeah there's, as well, it's, yeah. So, so do you ever, so when, when that's happening, do you ever have to, have to watch yourself when you're, when you're, like, really pushing a, like, like, your, your, your vocal cords to either sing, or if you're trying to practice voice acting again, like, you have to, like, shout a line, do you have to be careful about that, or... Not strain it too much. Well, I can I can tell when I'm getting tired, um, mm -hmm. and I know that I can't, because it kind of I kind of got affected over the holidays because I was doing Mamma Mia and I was also caroling with this caroling group and singing with uh, my vibration group and um, I was just doing a lot of singing and so I definitely got I definitely got tired and it affected it a little bit, um, but I know I know now that it's just. Just something I had to just work through again, just have to keep singing. But I, you know, you back off a little bit and take some time, and I modified some things, and then, then I got it back up to where it is again. So yeah, Good. just learning to live with it, I guess. Gotcha. Yeah. Right on. Um. All right, guys, let's go ahead and we're gonna take like a couple more, but we gotta actually wrap it up. So yep. if you guys have anything else, if you want them to say something, or if you have any important questions, yep. drop them to us right now. If you have any other questions that we may have missed, because there was a lot of you guys zooming by, so. Uh, well, yeah. If any if, of our questions if missed. Reason, if for some reason you don't get those questions in, we'll get we'll get some Twitter action going, and you can ask those questions. There, there it is. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Let's get that on this week. I think we'll this line is really, really silly and really funny, so I kind of want to hear it a little bit. <laughs> Someone's <laughs> asking, and it's not from a game. It's literally just from like a meme, like a joke. Um, sorry. Can you? It's it's. I'm making mac and cheese, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's really dumb. No, that's, that's funny. That's funny. That's crazy. I'm making mac and cheese. What was the second part? <laughs> and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm making mac and cheese, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my That's God. That's going to be animated. <laughs> so Dorian, please animate <laughs> oh, All right, I'll animate it. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yes. That's cool. That's very, that very really cool. Hard. Yes. My, my friend, you still got it. <laughs> you still got it. Very good. Oh, oh God. Lord, that's funny. Very nice. And the chat's, oh. the chat's like going crazy. They're so happy. <laughs> oh, my very Lord. Nice. Very, very nice. Very nice. I think this is actually a really good uh, question, too. Someone's asking, who is your biggest inspiration? Oh, I almost just gave you a dad joke just then, but I didn't. <laughs> Decided against it. Well, it would be the band Chicago, because um, you're the inspiration. No. Um, let's see. <laughs> 80s music, I get it. I get it. Who's my inspiration? Who's my inspiration? 
I don't know it's that okay. I. If you can't I don't know that something. I have... Not really. Yeah, I don't want to make something up. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that. I probably do. I probably have someone that, you know, I saw as a kid or something that I that I thought that was, you know, that made me want to do what I what I do. But I. I don't know. A lot of music has, you know, affected me over my life. Like I have a lot of favorite uh, artists that kind of paved the way for me just wanting to be a singer. Not even just a musical theater, but just wanting to wanting to sing. And um, like Prince, love Prince. Like. Oh, me too. Prince is Prince is. Oh man, Prince is great. So yeah, yeah. Just an just just an amazing artist, just all around. Just amazing person yeah um, absolutely like my mom my mom actually took me to to minnesota uh i believe the the, the revolution was about to, was doing a was doing a tribute concert in, in his honor and we went to the uh i want to say it's a club but we, we went to the club where he would he would play at or, or where they filmed uh, purple rain at um for oh, that it was so cool Oh man, it was great. They even had like like his bike, his bike that he had for the movie. I think they had that like displayed like near the uh, the uh, the uh, on the uh, sort of gathering floor or whatever that is. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, it was really cool. The uh, the uh, purple bike. It was yeah, it was really great. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. For sure. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, I was trying to see if I can get like one good closer question um you know what and i like i think just inspirationally too i like just people sure. that can do so many different different voices and sounds and like you know ryan drummond lonnie Manella. i mean they're just so freaking talented and <laughs> in that regard and being able to switch from one thing to another so fast and um and you know, i can do that with some things but it's just it's just so amazing and and um you know, Robin Williams. I mean, just somebody could just do all of these different things and, and be so just on top of it, just that, like that improv and that, I think that that's an inspiration too, I think as well. Like, a uh, like, a uh, uh, like, like Mel Blank who did like pretty much all of the Looney Tunes almost. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. So he did pretty much everything. Yeah. And just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you would never know it by, if you just listen to it, you'd like, Oh my God! He did that voice too. He did that voice. I'm like, I want to be that person. Yeah, totally. Totally. Oh, very cool. Right on. And uh, like, I, well, I think. Let's see. I think that the. Uh, let's see. Um, there, God, there's so many different. <laughs> so many things, <laughs> different requests on here. Uh, I know. So I'm, I'm wondering if like. So I'm wondering if like like if there's if there's a thing that we can remember and uh, just uh, David, if you're up to it, if you're totally up to it, if there's just something that like. Maybe like a catchphrase, because like, well, shout out, just say chaos control all the time. So maybe that would be. Uh, yeah, maybe, yeah, I guess that could be a good ender. You think? You think so? Yeah. yeah. So he just he just shouts like chaos control. <laughs> just like that. Should I yeah. Well, maybe not as calmly as <laughs> I did it, but <laughs> but I, I didn't want to like startle. You need to have more passion behind it. I'm Man, sorry. More passion. Good lord. I don't want to like scare my neighbors. <laughs> I have a That's friend scary. in the other room like doing laundry and I don't want to startle her. <laughs> yeah, we could just do it. We'll just do it. Cool. Sure. Chaos control. Oh, there, yeah, that's Excellent. it. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Nice. <laughs> Very good. There it is, guys. Oh man, the there it is indeed. My catchphrase now, though. Like <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know that there, there's, uh, you know, actually, there's, there's another, there's another catchphrase like that walking around. It was done on the, on these, uh, these kind of sonic uh, voice uh, Twitter takeover things that the, that the, that the guys over at the social media uh, team does at Sega, Sega of America, oh, yeah. and uh, yeah, like th there's one that was written where Shadow says something like "Silence Brand" or something like oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that one's walking around. It's really, really, it's really funny. Like I, we had a, we had a, um, 
with uh, Emmy and I were actually just with Ryan, I think uh, last month at uh, this this thing called Sonic Revolution, um, and uh, there was a person that gave me like a request to draw a thing of Shadow eating a taco, just eating tacos. <laughs> I don't know what well, I don't know what was up with that, and just yeah, when he's eating tacos, I just have him going, mmm, brand. It's just, it's just, <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> it kind of, yeah. it, the, kind of, the joke is sort of along the lines that a lot of uh, brand accounts, like, you know, like Pizza Hut or whatever, um, they'll, right. they'll, like, get in on a joke that they know nothing about, so everyone will be like, oh, I'll be quiet, like, we don't, <laughs> we're not, we're not going to buy your pizza, or, you know, whatever. Right. Yeah, yeah, and now they're making it, and, well, at least now one person is just making us have Shadow say silence brand, if you're okay with that as well. Silence, Brand. <laughs> you, hear, you hear that, Gushers? Oh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, because he he was talking to Gushers. That's right. That's right. Because they had a question from Gushers. Yeah, from Gushers account. Oh man, that's brilliant. Oh. All right. Oh, that's so not, funny. Let's not uh, wear that out. Yeah. But, oh um, yeah, totally. Well, they, need to, they need to send me what my Twitter feed's supposed to be. Yes. We, yeah, should do like, yeah. we need yeah. like 10, 10 ideas and then we all vote and then I'll I can put that on as my Twitter feed. Yeah, let's I'm down perfect. just to be uh, yeah, I'm down to be a part of that committee. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Cool. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. Um but oh my gosh, it was really nice talking with you, David. Thank Absolutely. you so much. It was so great talking to you. Thanks, Emmy, thanks for just, you know, push me and just keep bothering me and be like, Hello, can you do ten? <laughs> Can you do that? I'm so sorry. Please <laughs> respond. Like, no, you didn't bother me a lot. I'm just, I'm just. Sometimes I need that, so it's great. And I've, I've wanted to do this, you know, the last couple of years, and you know, we weren't able to do it, and it, it's important, and I, I love it. Well, it's, awesome. Awesome. We, it's awesome. We finally had you on here. I'm yeah, actually I was very shy, but Ryan kept telling me, if you want David to do something, you have to bother him all the time. And I'm like, okay. Oh, they all know, yeah. Ask Scott or Ryan to be like. <laughs> 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 right on. Yeah, yeah, David, uh, seriously, man, it was, it's been an honor to meet you. I've been playing uh, Sonic Adventure 2 since I was a little kid. You know, just being able to talk to you is a, is a great, great, great honor indeed. So it's very nice to meet you, man. And you're our yeah, inspiration. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, it's it's just great. I'm glad you guys are continuing, continuing on the, on the Sonic adventure. You know what I mean? Aha. So, you know, bring it on. Sonic adventure. Yeah. Right on. Right on, man. Good pun. Yeah, Alrighty. and we'll be looking for that Twitter account, man. Definitely. Yeah, I know. Let's do it. Keep our eye out. All right. All right. Well, until right, you get your soccer game, is it over yet, or are they still going? Oh yeah, they're done. They got they got decimated. So. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Hopefully it's okay. It just means so. Yeah, it just means he'll come back stronger next time. It's all yeah. gravy. Oh, uh, it's yeah, and it's not his team. He was subbing, so it's all right. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We won't lose any for it. Uh, all right, right on. All right, thanks all you guys. Right. It was it was a lot of fun. I had a great time, and thanks for all the you know all the listeners and and the people that are still following. It's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. Proud yeah, man. Of course, we'll talk it to you later. Okay. Yep, sounds good. All right, have a good one, David. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thanks, you guys. Bye, man. Bye.